Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to Princess Maker 3 Fairy Tales Come True. Now, of course, if you are not familiar with my channel, I should let you know that I have previously recorded uh, playthroughs of Princess Maker 2 and Princess Maker 1. And in fact, I think uh, when this goes up, I should probably still have an ongoing series of Princess Maker 1. So there's going to be a bit of overlap, which hopefully isn't too confusing to deal with. But... Here we are, Princess Maker 3. This one has been released on Steam in English quite recently. Not like today, because I was out of town, so I missed it, but uh, a few days ago. So uh, let's just get into it. New game, here we go. Master, master. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Uzu, the fairy... I have uh, come here by the order of the Fairy Queen. A young girl will soon come here to meet you. That girl is a fairy who was reincarnated as a human. She is ten years of age by now. She does not yet have a name in the human world. Uh, please kindly give her a name, Master. Daughter's name. Hmm. Ooh, key input. That sounds nice. Okay. Let's see. Being a, uh, our daughter being a mythical creature is interesting to say the least, so why not name her after something from mythology? How about Athena, the Greek goddess of, like, wisdom and probably knowledge and other things as well. Uh, that's a good name, Master. Uh, what is your surname? Well, surname, of course, uh, being Simicraft, the surname will obviously have to be Craft, as per usual. Oops. Let's try that again. Uh, yes, understood. Uh, when is her birthday? Uh, birthday. No, uh, we'll just say, how about May 21st? Uh, please select the girl's blood type. A. Why not? Uh, it's A. Uh, when is Master's birthday? Uh, my birthday. Let's have it this time. What about November 22nd? I hope it will be a wonderful day. Uh, please tell me your occupation. Okay, father's occupation. Ooh. A merchant, a wandering monk, a retired knight, a traveler, a fallen noble, or a wandering performer. I say, I am a merchant. You were a merchant? Uh, yes, I understand. Uh, are these informations correct? Daughter's name, Athena. Father's surname, Kraft. Daughter's date of birth, 5 month, 21 day. Daughter's blood type, A. Father's date of birth, 11 months, 22 day. Father's occupation, merchant. Yes, that seems accurate. You, a merchant who covets riches, I'm the one who dominates human dreams and desires. I'm the queen of fairies. Your life only follows the money, and there is no place to rest your wealth. Dear merchant, I entrust the child to you. This child is a dreaming girl. A girl with pure dreams who was born from a morning dew. Please fulfill this child's dream with your ability, and you have a happy dream. When you wake up, you will forget past things, and a new world unfolds in front of you. Good morning! Uh what a refreshing morning it is! Our girl is in good is in a good mood today as well. Uh, good morning, Dad. Uh, I will be a good child who listens well. Uh, now I'm uh, ten years old. So, uh, what do you do now? Okay. Oh, little. Should we perhaps look at the schedule? Okay. Well, hold on. Okay, let's see. Well, let's look at the status. 
70 stamina, 120 intellect, 50 vitality, 120 pride, 50 morality, 50 elegance, 25 attitude, 50 sense, 50 charm, 20 courage, 25 trust, 0 stress. Okay. Chats? Okay. Well, let's see about his schedule. Uh, Part-time jobs are generally a good thing to get started in these sorts of games, yes? Okay. Okay, I felt the uh, so the music was getting a bit loud. Let me just check that real quick. Okay, uh... Yeah, we're good, we're good. I uh, just wanted to make sure that was alright, so I can produce the best content possible for you guys. Alright, schedule it is. Okay, so there's studying that can be done. Okay, school, martial arts, dancing class, cooking class, music class, art class, etiquette class, church, and a diet center. Okay. Although part-time jobs are generally good, right now we only have nursery and house cleaner. So we'll uh, have her do both of those. Then maybe study? We should probably send her to school. That's generally a decent thing for a kid to do, right? Uh... Do we have to plan out, like, the entire... Like, oh... The entire day? Or, the like, by the day, I mean? Um... Okay, um... Can we execute? Commence, commence the schedule? Uh, yes, sure. Things are a bit different in this game than previous ones I've played. Oh, come in. I, I'm Yuri. I uh, crush Nanny. Thank you. I was really troubled because I didn't have enough hands. Uh, give the children a uh, kind heart. Okay, so her pride's going down, her morality is going up, her attitude is going up, and her stress as well is, of course, going up. Okay. Woo! Uh, kids are really cute and adorable, but to take care of them for a whole day is really tough. Lady, work hard. Okay. So now she's cleaning up around the house. More vitality, less pride. Uh, more morality and more attitude. That's good. More stamina as well. Okay. Thank you for your work. Welcome, I am I'm Professor Kulbo of this school. Uh, this school is a place where you can acquire valuable friends while acquiring knowledge. Everybody get along with your new friends. You must be happy that you can study with me. Okay, and this I presume yeah, more intellect, more morality, more pride. Less attitude more stress more charm as well okay so I guess school is uh, generally good for her I, I think school is a fun place to be I can meet a lot of people here I wish I could make a lo lots of friends too uh, for some reason I have no energy at all that is because your stress has piled up. Stress? Uh, yes, humans are different from fairies, so they often have a lot of wor a lot to worry about. Uh, whichever act you perform, certain amounts of stress gets piled up slowly. Uh, really? 
Being human is tougher than I imagined. Yes, but once you get used to it, it's, it is not a big deal. But if the stress gets piled up and exceeds the stamina threshold, you're likely to have illness. Uh, please be careful. Hmm. This game uh, certainly seems to do a bit better of a job at tutorializing than uh, the other games I've played, which is nice. Of course, it does mean when I mess up, I don't really have anything to blame but myself. Oh man, yeah, that stress really has piled up, hasn't it? But she's becoming more intelligent. That's good. We will have an academic aptitude exam today. Oh. Uh, academic. A academic a aptitude exam? If you have been studying well, it will be sim a simple exam. It will be divided into four different categories with 25 points each. The total score will be out of 100. First subject will be about general common sense. Second will be about history. Third will be math. And fourth will be about literature. Now, Will there be anyone who gets a perfect score? Let us start! Now for the first subject. Uh, first subject is... Huh, I have no idea. Uh, second subject is... Uh-huh, I have no idea. Third subject is... Uh, well, I think I know. Fourth subject is... Huh? I have no idea. Time's up. Let's start grading. I don't think she did well. For the mathematical problems, it tests your intelligence. Well, literature tests your intelligence, but, uh, but your sense is also important. Gosh, I, I got 20 points. Oh, she got super stressed by that realization. That young lady's condition seems to be uh, different from usual. My stomach hurts. Oh no, she's sick. Oh, uh, this is big trouble. A uh, young lady has gotten sick. <gasps> Let us continue studying together. No, she needs to go home. She's sick. Oh, we are home. Good. Uh, we'll get better soon. Uh, d definitely. Oh. Uh. This is really quite bad. A young lady's condition seems to be different from usual. Uh, I think I feel better today. Uh, please open the window. You, you are all better now. Health is the most important thing. This is uh, roughly how your daughter has grown this season. Alright, more plus 60 intelligence, plus 3 stamina, plus 2 pride, plus 7 morality, and lost a lot of stuff from being sick. <laughs> oh well. What can you do? Uh, she has a uh, precoci precocious uh, attitude. That uh, makes her not a child. There's a rumor that she's arrogant. <gasps> arrogant? <sighs> not my daughter. Okay. We need to be more cautious uh, as distress. Can shopping do anything for her? 
Welcome. Uh, we have all the goods here. Fancy dress, pretty dress, comfortable clothes, breezy clothes, warm clothes. Okay. Fascinating. And, uh, yeah, you just have the casual, the dress or whatever. Okay, schedule. Okay, I definitely think we should probably have you study a bit more. Uh, I think your work in the uh, nursery was good for you. So, and then, uh, I'll have you rest. Vacation, uh, probably just some free time, alright? Then we will execute this. Uh, commence the schedule? Uh, yes, certainly. Alright. Her attitude is getting worse from being at school. Uh, I want to study a lot and get smarter. That's a splendid idea. Intellect is one of the defining qualities of humanity. Your father will be very happy when he hears about this. Uh, really? Would father really be happy about that? Of course! The little... The t the Wait. The life of a merchant is a constant battle of wits. Master is very happy to see you start studying. Uh, really? <laughs> Then uh, I'd better study harder. Yay! More trust. Hopefully, she, I got she. Hopefully, she trusts you to not let her get sick. Uh, young lady, have you heard of the Harvest Festival? Uh, I think I heard of it, but I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it is an event that the royal families are hosting, and it is to celebrate plentiful harvest to the autumn time. Uh, it opens every 10th month of the year. At that time, they open con a contest uh, to pick the kingdom's healthiest and most beautiful woman. Kingdom's uh, healthiest beauty? Uh, since you are aiming to become a princess, uh, don't you think it would be a good idea to try and show your health and uh, beautiful looks? Uh, wouldn't it be uh, possible that they pick someone that is totally not relating to being a princess? Maybe like a uh, brute? It is possible that the royal family is like a woman who has a burly build. Uh, you can enter, sure, it'll be fun. Right? Just don't take it too seriously, you're only ten. We shall now proceed, all oh, thanks to the god above in heaven, with the Harvest Festival! Also, uh, let us determine who is the healthiest and most beautiful woman in our kingdom. Every healthy and beautiful lady is a hope to our kingdom. Now, let us start! Wow, everyone seems so healthy. I'm losing confidence. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it seems like it's going to be difficult to win. Now everyone, please cast your vote. Okay. The winner is um, Maria. Uh, it's my honor. The winner will receive a prize of money of 3,000 gold. <gasps> Maria! It was wonderful. <laughs> Please continue to be healthy as always. Uh, the, l the lady was the eighth among the eight. I see. 
Don't worry again, you're only ten, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, now kids, this pretty sister will take care of you. Okay, oh, only 38%? Uh, that's right, uh, if I don't have the energy, I don't know how much longer I can do this. But master, the time has come to give young lady an allowance. Uh, well, this year, it will be 830 gold. I hope that uh, business would prosper again next year. Oh, oh, I get that much. Great. Good, 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 good. Wonderful. Uh, it's young lady's uh, free time. I wonder what she will be doing. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's a day of... Uh, should I go shopping? Probably could have worked a bit more. All right, good work, good work. All right, I do want you to continue studying in school. It'll be very important for you. I'd also like you to take uh, an etiquette class. You should uh, be, you should know how to handle yourself. Uh, a part-time job. I will expect you to uh, clean the house a bit. And then you may rest. Alright. Sounds like a deal. Alright. Here you go. Let's do it. Commence the schedule. Uh, um, Father, I have a favor to ask. I want to go to martial arts school. Is it okay? Alright, we'll put martial arts on the schedule, alright? There's a feeling that uh, I want to go to martial arts school in exchange for everything. You know. You gotta be somewhat willing to be flexible with the child. And you know, it'll, it'll be good for her, you know? It's always good when your daughter can defend herself. Uh, this is roughly how your daughter has grown this season. Uh, only barely any more stamina. So, things are generally getting better. Uh, her attitude is getting worse, though. So, yeah. She has, uh... Precocious attitude that makes her not a child. There's a rumor that she's arrogant. Welcome to our dojo. I am Karlund. Karklund, the master of this dojo. To practice martial arts is to practice body and mind together. I'll lead you with pride. Uh, everyone will be happy to be able to perform with me. More stamina, more pride, more cor courage. That's good. Attitude's going down, though. Yep, so this ought to be good for her. Woo! Uh, martial arts are more difficult than I thought. <laughs> My arm is still sore. Stress is okay for now. Martial arts train your heart. Only those with a strong heart. 
can become stronger. Uh, young lady, have you heard of the New Year's Festival? Uh, the New Year's Festival? It is a New Year's party the royal family hosts, which opens every first month of the year. Uh, during that time, they host an etiquette contest. Uh, an etiquette contest? Really? <laughs> uh, His Majesty is lamenting over the fact that the young generation these days has no elegance due to lack of manners. That is how this event has started, and all the important figures of the kingdom will attend. Uh, then the prince might as well. Uh, yes, it is uh, highly likely that he will. Uh, what do you think, since you are aiming to become a princess? I think it would be a great opportunity to show grace fitting for a princess. <laughs> this is just an event made just for me. Uh, Uzu, watch carefully. I'll definitely win this. <sighs> okay, now, you're only 10. Your skills haven't been very refined yet. And we've been focusing more on your uh, education, your knowledge in school. Um, so, don't set your expectation too high, but, you know, it'll be good fun. Go ahead, enter. My daughter has her own agenda, it would seem. We are here. We are grateful to safely come another new year in our kingdom. To celebrate the new year, we will once again proceed with an etiquette contest this year. A courteous youngster, a citizen who can keep their manners, is truly a treasure of this kingdom. We will provide a tremendous support to those people. Uh, somehow I feel like I'd be in last place. Uh, it seems like it, uh, but knowing yourself could be a sign that you have improved. Uh, thanks, but I don't feel happy at all. Now everyone, please cast your votes. Yeah. The winner is Maria. Uh, uh, thank you very much. The winner will receive a prize money of 3,000 gold. Maria! It was wonderful! How wonderful it would be if every citizen, young citizen in fact, was just like you. Please, be a good role model for every young citizen. The, the, the lady was eighth among the eight. <laughs> Rest assured, I got this. But would it really be alright? Yeah, good work with that cleaning. Keep it up. Uh, Master, it seems like a traveling merchant has visited. <gasps> Mister, how you doing? I am Wandering Peddler. I bring you fine items for sale. Let's see. Suit of Darkness, a mysterious suit that is said to be made by a demon designer. A charming dress worn by the dancer from the south. A suit designed after the legendary rabbit fairy. Nutritious drink crafted by infusing... Do we want any of this? A legendary seed that is said to have bestowed law and order to humanity since the ancient time. Cookie... 
Um, hmm. Here, why not? Here, have a fruit of knowledge. Sure. We'll buy a fruit of knowledge. A fruit of wisdom. A fruit of wisdom! Do you want to buy? It costs 350 gold! Yes, very much so. Thank you very much. Okay. Are you buying more? Uh, sure, we can buy more. Let's. What's the come of. Goddess. Goddess is comb. Do you wanna buy? It costs 300 gold. Sure. Wow, I've always wanted this. Attitude? Okay. We'll buy one more. What is. What does. What's the noble spring water? Elegance. Okay. That's all for now. Mister, you buy good items, I'll come back next time. Alright, back to cleaning. You okay over there? Be careful. Uh... Huh, Master? Young lady, I think our money seems to have decreased. Uh, what? Could it be a burglar? Uh, young lady, forgot to lock the windows. Uh, your lack of attention. The lost amount is 98 gold. Gosh darn. Thank you for your hard work. I'll take care of things from tomorrow. Uh, don't worry about it. What? Uh, what did he exactly want to say? Uh, it's young lady's uh, free time. I wonder what she will be doing. I wonder as well. <laughs> it's a day off. Should I go shopping? Okay, yeah, reducing that stress. Getting the sense up. I don't quite know what sense is, but... Oh! Do you, uh, go shopping today? Uh, please, come to school steadily, because, uh, iterative learning is important. Oh, fascinating. Aw, oh, don't give her more stress! This is, uh, roughly how your daughter has grown this season. Good, high marks all around, except for pride, which she's lost a bit, but that's fine. Yeah, her attitude, sorry. Uh, I'll do better next time, I'm sure. Alright guys, so that'll be it for this episode, but be sure to uh, stay tuned, because uh, next episode should probably be coming up sometime next week. I don't have a day for you right now, but it should be pretty soon. So if you're enjoying the series, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. But uh, until then, I've been Simicraft, and I will catch you in the next episode of Princess Maker 3. Fairy tales come true.